So we're using a heart rate variability tool, like a like an aura ring. Um, and there's no affiliation with any of these companies, by the way, you guys. I have no no money comes from me to them, and nothing back and forth. I bought my ring. I'm I'm not a I'm not a uh, influencer trying to grab some money or some stuff. You know, back to this. I'm using heart rate variability, and then you can start doing something that was popularized on the internet uh, a couple of years ago. It's cold plunging. Now, cold plunging had its moment. It was hot for a while, and now it's not as hot as it used to be, or cold. <laughs> it was as popular, right? The thing about it, though, is why were people doing it? A lot of people hype it and make it out to be something more magical than it really is. Heart rate variability can be tested when you're cold plunging. So what you do is you 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 get into a cold plunge, you jump into these, one of these cold, there's a lot of places that offer cold plunging suites, but you do cold plunging and you see what your heart rate variability is doing. What you should see is your heart rate variability improving, getting more variable in there. The sympathetic is being down-regulated. That's great. Now, some of you, I know women, um, don't like jumping in cold water. I get you. I'm with you. You could do, <laughs> this is awful. Face plunging in cold water too. Get a bowl of ice water, put your face in it for a little bit. That helps, <laughs> but it's not popular. Another one is just cold packs, cold packs on your neck right here. Right at the vagus nerve, right there. At that ganglion right there. Just keep it there. And use your ring to see, or whatever you're using to test heart variability, to see. This is physical medicine. This is physical medicine you're doing here. I know there's a product I just saw being advertised that's a vagal stimulator. I have no idea if it works or not. But I just cold plunge, cold, cold packs on your neck, and just watch to see what heart rate variability does. This is not an expensive therapy, cold ice packs on your neck. So you do for like 20 seconds on, two minutes off. That's one way of doing it. Box breathe is another, where you breathe four seconds inhaling, four seconds hold, four seconds exhale, four seconds hold. That's that box breathing you can do. That's another one. See if that moves your heart rate variability. These are things to try and down-regulate your stress to get your body to break out of that stressful cycle. There's another therapy we do in office as well called a stellate ganglion block. And that's when they inject the stellate ganglion, which is right up in here, and they inject a little bit of anesthetic around that. Now, this needs to be done um, with ultrasound monitoring and it needs to be done professionally. You know, and and uh, one of the physicians I work with, uh, Dr. Uh, Danny Clark, does this in the office. Like, well, Brendan, why do I want that? Because that epinephrine, as I mentioned earlier, that epinephrine being surging like that, that's more pro inflammatory. I need you to get more parasympathetic again. That parasympathetic, we're going to be more relaxed. 